Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. I'm coming to you out of Zurich. I am traveling today. So this is a very early video, but we have to analyze the Bitcoin price because what we are seeing right now is that expected bounce that I announced yesterday. We had a very nice bullish divergence with this lower low compared to the previous one. And currently this bullish divergence and this buy signal in my indicators are perfectly working out. So we have to analyze the targets here and my expectations. We of course gonna have a look also into Ethereum and at the end also into the US dollar index and Nasdaq. So if you're trading these uh, pump and dumps, then make it right now over on Bybit because currently we have a 0% uh, fees on all spot pairs. And also if you sign up with the link in the video description, you can get $4,550 in bonus. And of course, also 0% maker fees for the first 30 days, but only if you use and sign up with my link. And don't forget to watch all the video tutorials that I did about Bybit and all its features. So definitely check them out they're all in the video description and of course also popping up at the end of this video so now my friends let's dive here straight into the four hour time frame for bitcoin because after we reach the target of this breakout to the downside from this symmetrical triangle right here at around eighteen thousand five hundred dollars we have now this expected bounce to retest this potential new resistance at around nineteen thousand seven hundred dollars if we see four hour closes above then i think that we will return into this symmetrical triangle and this was a fake out or we already played this out but bitcoin most likely afterwards will have a bullish resolution and push above uh, twenty thousand three hundred dollars the current resistance trend line of the symmetrical triangle and then of course we can look out for again uh, targets up at around 22k but until then there is a very high risk that here at around nineteen thousand seven hundred dollars we could get rejected and afterwards continue this breakout because if we switch over into the daily time frame you can see that we had a daily close below the bottom of the Kelton channels but yesterday immediately we recovered back up so this is what we wanted to see a daily close back within the Kelton channels because like that this uh, was just a fake out and we will not have now the bottom of the Kelton channels as a resistance but since we are now retracing back into the Kelton channels it's very likely that we could see a retest now of $19,700 and if we're strong enough we can even retest the median line of the Kelton channels right at the resistance front line of the symmetrical triangle at $20,300 and if we're able to push higher than that then of course the next resistance is 22k this previous uh, support trend line which now could be acting as a new resistance and that still is not tested yet so that's why I think 22k is still possible if here we're strong enough to push above the lower resistance targets the first one here at $19,700 and then of course $20,300 so watch out now for $19,700 if we're able to break out higher here in the lower time frames maybe even today then I'm pretty confident that over time we will head most likely up towards 22k but if here we're getting rejected and finally we will dump again below the bottom of the Kelton channel so a four hour or daily close below $18,850 would be enough then to confirm here continuation to the downside and therefore my bearish targets are of course still down here at around $12,000 uh, for the next coming uh, weeks because here on the weekly time frame you can see that currently we're still getting a nice bounce here at the bottom of the Kelton channels and also here if we would see weekly closes also below $18,500 then of course this could trigger a huge waterfall down towards the support trend line down here at around $12,000 this is the support trend line from this falling broadening wedge that we are still forming in the bigger time frames so this bounce that we are seeing right now is very very important not only for bitcoin but also for ethereum because if we zoom in here into the daily time frame you can see that even though we had here this rising wedge uh, ethereum had here an initial breakout to the downside but as you can see, we got supported at the bottom of the Kelton channels in the four hour time frame. And right now we are retracing back into this rising wedge. So if Ethereum is able to close four hour candles back above the 200 moving average, so back above $1,700 and even better above this resistance here at $1,730, then we could also see here nice run ups towards the main resistance that we have. 
First the top of the Keltner channels here at $1,790, then the 200 daily moving average at $2,100 and finally also test here the main resistance from this falling broadening wedge that we are also forming here over on Ethereum at $2,500. So if Bitcoin could reach 22k, I'm pretty confident that Ethereum could easily reach here $2,400, the resistance trend line of this uh, falling broadening wedge because currently the chart for Ethereum is looking way more bullish than the one over on Bitcoin. The question is only for how long this will last because uh, next week we will have the CPI meeting and at the same date, if I'm not wrong, also the Ethereum merge. So that could trigger a huge event also here for Ethereum in my opinion. So be careful if you're trading Ethereum but I think that if you're trading over on Bybit with a long or with a short depending how and yeah, next week is going to be you can make some huge gains because i think a lot of volatility will come here especially into ethereum and if we have a look into nasdaq so far we are seeing a nice recovery this week but if we're getting rejected here at the 20 weekly moving average or at the midi line of the Keltner channels at around twelve thousand seven hundred seventy dollars then of course also here over time we could head down towards the bottom of the Keltner channels in the 200 weekly moving average to maybe create here a potential double bottom formation in the bigger time frames but for now we are seeing a little bounce the question is only if this bounce is really taking us again towards the resistance and also if we're able to break out higher or if this is just going to end up in a little bounce and afterwards we're going to see continuation to the downside before we definitely bottom up bottom out maybe with a double bottom formation here and then uh, gear up towards a new bull run and the same thing we could also apply here over for bitcoin and most of the altcoins because if here we would create create in the bigger time frames like the weekly a nice double bottom formation and then of course also break above this neckline here at twenty four thousand four hundred dollars for bitcoin we could see here a nice uh, run up to the upside um, because uh, we are still in this bullish uh, pattern this falling broadening wedge in the bigger time frames and once this is broken to the upside we of course are getting a nice new bull run which maybe even can take us towards a new all-time highs i don't expect new all-time highs but if we're going to see here a break of this resistance trend line here then of course we are going to see big fireworks to the upside and the sooner we're gonna break it the higher the target is then because the more time we spend in this falling broadening wedge the lower the breakout target will be and then we don't have necessarily to see new all-time highs so in my opinion this bounce that is happening right now is very important if we're able to break significant resistance levels especially here um, back above nineteen thousand seven hundred dollars then we have very good chances here for a nice run-up and continuation to the upside but if you were just getting a confirmation that this is new resistance be prepared that we will head way lower and then we have very great buy opportunities because those are once in a lifetime opportunities to buy cryptos we don't buy cryptos when everything is pumping like crazy or when we are close to the a potential cycle top we are buying when fear is out there and whenever we are below the 200 weekly moving average and currently bitcoin is way below the 200 weekly moving average and um, even though in the past is always acted as a huge support if we're building up here a nice double bottom formation and we are recovering back above the 200 weekly moving average that of course could be a great buy opportunity that you're not getting too often and uh, in bitcoin's life so far this was always a very good buy opportunity for the long term don't think for the short term this is only if you're trading with leverage for example here on bybit if you're just buying here on bybit on spot and you hold it for the long term or you just uh, put it here into the earn feature and get some passive income with your cryptos uh, then of course uh, you don't have to care very much if you're buying right now at 18k or if we drop down towards 16 or 12k because over time bitcoin will increase in value that's for sure this is no financial advice but this is just how uh, i got uh, financial independent and of course enjoying this uh, crypto life all right my friends and with that said i'm going to wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel check out also all my other social media platforms with the links in the video description also subscribe to all the partner youtube channels they're all also here in my channel and linked in the video description uh, ad the crypto and also sophie's cooking tips here we're showing you how we are cooking in switzerland with some nice uh, recipes the english uh, translations are always in the video description and also shout out to our great discord trading chat where you can also get access to my indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin that is a very important and uh, a helpful tool if you're trading for example here over on bybit with leverage so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye